Good morning. Happy Sunday. John has um, been gone ages. He is, his flight was at something, had to be at the airport for like before six this morning. So me and Mr. Reuben are still here. Um, these things that Reuben loves, uh, there were a pack of 12. I kept four, the rest went to John's post office. Just the four I've got already. Well, just that bus one is irritating me massively. Um, yeah, our plans for today is, um, I think today's called the Big Afternoon Tea or something, officially, day after the coronation. Uh, we are having a play date this morning with my friend Scarlett and Ruben's little girl, Ruben's best girl, Millicent. Um, I was hoping to be dressed and a bit more prepared than that. I've got a sink full of dishes. Um, oh, have you done a poo? Okay. That's what I'm off to do now. <laughs> dressed. I've got a dress on. Reuben is dressed. The table's done. Dishes, like, the house looks like hell. It doesn't look like hell. It's just not how I wanted it to look. Um... We're gonna be here like 10 minutes, so it's as good as it's gonna get. I've got them a little plate and a bowl and a little horn makers. There's more stuff in the fridge, but yeah, looks kind of cute. It is quarter past two. Um, our friends have just left. The kids had a lovely time. Um, and it was nice because they play so beautifully together. And me and Scarlett just get to drink. It's most definitely my favourite people to have play dates with because Ruben and Millicent play beautifully together. But they also kind of, they get it if the other's not in the vibe to play. And they're just kind of independently playing next to each other and neither tries to force the other it's quite they've got such a great understanding of one another it's lovely um it practically feels like you don't have to parent apart from like opening things and pouring drinks and stuff um it does mean that like for that time period like me and Scarlett just drink she, like, i drink coffee she drinks tea and just chat and you know Yes, my house gets trashed in the process, and normally Scarlett would um, help, but um, her mum was borrowing her car, and her mum came to pick her up, and she was a bit early, so like, don't worry about it, don't make your mum wait, we're fine. Um, but yeah, they had a lovely time. Uh, so funny. Whenever we do these little like tea party things, I always put out like cucumber and carrot and like fruit. And Reuben eats bananas and apples, and he eats carrots and cucumbers. But unlike every other toddler that seems to be in existence, he isn't the biggest fan of berries. Like, or, you know, but every other child his age seems to be obsessed with berries. Anyway, Millicent really likes strawberries. So I like cut up some strawberries and some raspberries and put them out. And Millicent ate them because she loves them. And Reuben ate them beautifully they left there was some left on his plate i went to give them to him like while i was clearing the table i was like do you want to finish these Ugh. yucky like he's at like <laughs> a bajillion raspberries and um strawberries in while his little friend was here in the moment yuck yucky it's so funny kids are weird aren't they it's such a trip but yeah, um, I've not heard from John. I, well, I know, I know he landed safely. So he texted me when he landed, but I've not heard from him since. So he's busy doing rugby things. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to play this because I might try and not let Ruben nap today. It is looking a bit tired and I reckon if I did a hot milk and a bit of a cuddle I could probably force a nap but bedtime is getting later and later um, so I might see if we can just chill and push through this game is a little bit hard for you isn't it yeah um, I might try and push through 
and skip the nap and just do bath and bed a little bit earlier just to make the bedtime routine a bit easier because he's had a lot of late nights lately so yeah I might change my mind at the moment he's being dead cute so he can stay awake but if he gets to that hangry tired point we might change our mind on that I, I mean, I'm sorry if I'm looking at myself weird like I look like my dad I do not look like my mother um, but I don't know if it's this shade of blue or the fact that I've got no mascara on but like something about my eyes is making me think about my mum and it's weird because I look like my dad or how my dad looked he's been gone 15 years but you know when you're just talking it's like I was talking and you try not to stare at yourself when you're doing these vlogs and I just kind of glanced at myself and I'm like I got a glimpse of my mum and it was a bit weird because I say I look like my dad not my mum but it was strange I don't know if it's this colour or I say it could just be the lack of mascara I'm not sure it's freaking me out now I've got to stop <laughs> can't wait for these blooming things to come down that bus has been in my way all day um but yeah most of our afternoon has been spent been, been spent doing legos and um puzzles we love a wooden puzzle design, Ruben. Um, I did try and take him, we've not napped, which was the plan for today. Um, we both need an early night. And tomorrow's bank holiday. So it's like, the routine's out anyway. So we might as well really mess it up. Um, I did try and take him for a walk around the block. Even though he's obviously burnt a lot of energy off today. But he just refused with the shoes and I'm like, do you know what? I'm not prepared for a fight. I'm not prepared for the meltdown. Um, but he started to get a bit frustrated with the puzzles. Um, because he's tired, because we hasn't had a nap. So I'm gonna cook his tea. It's a little bit earlier than I'd normally do it. I'm gonna cook him some food. And then we're gonna have a bath and hopefully bedtime will be easy. John's messaged me, so he obviously flew up north this morning for rugby. He's getting the coach back with the team. They didn't win. Um, such is life. Um, but yeah. He seems quite happy. He said the second half was really good. So um, I'm quite sure the team he played are quite a bit higher up in the league than they are. So wasn't really expected to win, I don't think. But yeah, I'm going to cook Ruben some tea. I've picked up the puzzle pieces and put them back in the boxes. But there's Lego in. And we have all our dinner, mac and cheese, and we have some cucumber. I know it's bath time. And like three, well, two and a half yogurts. Completed bath time. Ruben has his lotion on, pajamas on. I'm warming up some milk for the bedtime battle. Uh, Ruben is supposed to be picking his books, but he's playing with his balloon. You're gonna go get a book. No, book. Book. Um, I finally took the washing out that I put in the machine at like 8 a.m. this morning. Um, oh. Yeah, I am. Um... That's not my donkey. Okay. Sit down. Yeah, we'll sit down. Sit down. I'm gonna start the uh, bedtime battle. Wish sit me luck. Down. And finally asleep. It still took an hour and fifteen minutes. Um, so totally not worth missing skipping the afternoon nap. Here's smug little me thinking, oh yeah, we'll skip the nap and he'll go straight to sleep after his bath. No, he was just really grumpy with me. I've got lots of no's and stops, like I do all the little gentle voices and like, no mama. And then he wanted to read the book himself, which is fine, but I'm like, and he was getting really excited by the books. And it was just like, <sighs> but he's asleep. And I've left all the blooming windows open and it's temperature's dropped. So let's preheat this oven and go around and close the windows. And I think I'm gonna put some bit, take me dress and bra off and put some jammies on. Comfies on tea in the oven, got a wheat bag on maybe like tummy. <sighs> TMI warning. But it's like 
today's the 7th and I was due on on the 1st so I'm like a week late but I've, I've come on today um so it's like technically today's day one on my cycle but it's like it feels like day three which is my normally my most painful so I'm like to the point where I feel a bit sick <laughs> um so I'm hopeful that it's just going to be short and horrendous rather than get gradually worse to day three um yeah my cycles are normally really good like historically they've always been good and then obviously I know some people when they take IVF meds it messes up their natural cycle but mine was okay and it returned rather it was rather you know it returned normally after um having Reuben and everything I'm just like I've got quite a lot of stress in my life right now and I'm trying not even though I share a lot by doing these videos try not to kind of dwell on that because not it's private and you know the stress in my life life impacts other people that at this point I'm not yeah it's just it's something I'm tr still trying to process and deal and it's like overhang from losing my mom and everything that happened as a result of that and I do feel like once my mum's house sale is completed that will not end it but help with like I you know I'm getting like anxiety like palpitations anxiety and just stressing and reacting badly to things that I wouldn't normally react to and I can't blame it all on the death of my mother but you know, there's a lot of stuff surrounding that. Um, so I'm kind of like, I'm really sad that the house is going to be gone. But I'm, I'm like, I need it to happen because I honestly think my period was late because of the stress of everything else in my life. So I need to kind of get rid of this stress. And hopefully we should, the house should complete this month. Um, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I just with all like there's three bank holidays this month, so it might delay it to next month. But yeah, I just need to breathe through it and unwind and and hope these period cramp things bugger off soon. But yeah, the stress is getting to me right now. And it's tea time and it doesn't look very exciting not the healthiest but definitely not the worst meal for one i hate cooking for one um but yeah i got a cheesy potato stack from iceland's a corn garlic and mushroom fillet thing and some heinz baked beans and some pepsi in a diet coke glass but yeah that's tonight's tea Oh, little Darwin, Darwin. You okay, Baba? <laughs> oh, Achilles little foot. Feet. Um, I wasn't meant to step this late. I was doing my bullet journal. I got a bit distracted, but I'm definitely <sighs> going to bed now. And yes, I'm sat on the floor so the dogs can have the whole sofa because that's the kind of dog owner I am. But yeah. I'm going to bed.